So the sandwich I'm going to be preparing, which is going to be matched with the Tyrrell's Mature Cheddar and Chive Crisps, is going to be my Tuna Melt Toasty. It is delicious. It's got loads of great flavours in it. Uh, we've got some tuna. We've got, of course, some butter. We're going to add some spice in there. We're going to go with some gherkins and some jalapenos. We've got a bit of spring onion, uh, a little bit of mayonnaise, touch of mustard, and then, of course, cheese, which is really important. So I've got two different types of cheeses. I've got a really nice mature cheddar, and I've also got a smoked cheese, which is going to give it a really nice flavour. And then I'm going to give you my top tips on how to toast your sandwich properly so it becomes lovely and oozy and golden and melty. And that's it. So all I need to do is get all the ingredients ready. Of course, we're going to go straight in with our tuna. So, tin tuna, nice simple, yeah. Okay, we're going to mix this into our bowl, get our tuna, and then we need to infuse it with loads of lovely flavour. So, to do that, we're going to add a couple of ingredients. And as I was saying earlier, I've got a little bit of these. Now, generally, a little bit of pickle makes a big difference. So, something that's pickled, whether it's a red onion, whether it's gherkin, whether it's a caper, something like that is fine. Uh, this is going to add that lovely little bit of acidic sort of kick to it and balance out all that lovely flavour from the cheese. So I'm just going to do a couple of slices of the gherkin and I'm going to cut them into little slices and again just chop these into little pieces. Okay, this is all going into our mix so we want this lovely flavour of the gherkin to balance with all those other flavours. Slice it up and then the other thing we want is a little bit of spice. Now you can use fresh chili if you want but little soaked jalapenos are delicious. These are really really good. So again don't have to put them in, but it just gives you a nice little kick. So I'm going to add a few in here just to give us that extra little boost on our lovely, oozy, cheesy toaster. Okay, mix those in. Maybe one more. Just add that one in. Get those seeds in as well for that extra flavour. Now into that, we want to, of course, add a little bit of seasoning. So a little touch of salt. And again, a little bit of pepper in here. We use a little bit of black and a little bit of white as well, just to give it that nice flavour of the two. And then, what we need just to give it a bit of lightness and to soften it up before we add the cheese is some mayonnaise. Don't want to put too much in, just enough to be able to bind it through. And then the other thing I love to add is a little bit of mustard. Now Dijon is my favourite mustard to use in this, but you could use whole grain, you can use French, you can use any of those varieties. Um, the mustard just gives you a lovely sort of background flavour. Mix this together. Look at this, come together. Get that nice mix here. And you can sort of see this all coming together now. Look at that mix. You've got all your pickles and everything inside there ready. And then now we need to add our cheese into this. Okay. The other thing we're going to add is a little bit of spring onion. So the cheese, we're going to do our chunks of our mature cheddar. Now, if you want to grate these, you can do, but chunks are just going to melt down really nice as well and give you those little pockets of all that oozy cheese. The other thing we can do is add a little bit of smoked, and again, this tends to be a bit of a softer cheese, so I'm just going to break it in some lumps, and we're also going to put some slices on top, okay? Mix that in to our tuna and to our pickles, and that little bit of mayonnaise, okay? Then we want to add a little bit of spring onion. So, again, I'm just going to use these little green tops, yeah, really lovely in terms of their flavour. Little slices of these straight into the top and straight into our mixture. Give that a little mix together. And I think we're ready then to get ready for our sandwich. So I'm gonna bring my sourdough slices over. I've got two good slices of sourdough bread. And again, you can use any bread for a toast. It doesn't have to be a sourdough. But again, when you cook this down, you've got that lovely color and the texture. I really like it, a nice sort of crunchy bit of bread. But if you wanna use any variety of bread, it will work. Butter in the inside, good. Covering of butter, same one on both sides, right the way down. And then we're going to put our filling inside here. And again, we want quite a good amount of filling in here. So make sure you're getting all that cheese in there because we want all this cheese. As it warms, that cheese is going to start to melt down and become lovely and oozy. So all those big lumps of cheese. Come out. Looking good. And then the layers of our smoked cheese on top, which is going to melt down, give us that lovely smoky texture from the cheese into our mix. And then on top. Now, the other most important thing when you're doing a toasted is to butter the outside of the bread. So, good amount of butter on both sides, okay? 
So I'm gonna use this side, that's gonna go into the pan and I'm gonna butter the other side. And when that's done, that's it. All we're gonna do is take this off and start to get that cooked. Butter top and that needs to go straight into the pan, to the hot side. So we're gonna turn that over, drop it in, and we're gonna push that down. And you can hear that little sizzle of where that butter's starting to caramelize down. Now, normally you'd wanna prep a little bit of pressure on. So I'm gonna leave that for a minute and then I'm gonna put some weight on. You can either push it down with a, a sort of a, a fish slice or something like that, or you could put another pan on top, which is what I was gonna do. Just give it a little bit of a squash, and what you wanna do is just create a bit of pressure on top, okay? Just that, squash that sandwich down. So you can hear the sizzle. Give that a good old push to squeeze everything together and let it cook. While that's on there as well, I'm gonna get some butter on this side before we end up turning it over. So I'm just gonna do a little layer of butter on here. Just like we did on the other side. You can start to hear that cheese already melting. Oh goodness, smell good. So let's turn this over. Look at this, wait for it, wait for it. I'm gonna pop this back on now and just oh, let that look sit. Look at that. Again, give it a little bit of pressure. I'm just gonna let that cook for a little bit longer on the other side. Get all that cheese lovely and gooey inside before we take it out and eat it. So everything's ready, so I'm gonna go and grab my toasty and bring it over. Look at this. You can just see when you touch the top of it, you get this soft, and you can tell the cheese is super gooey inside. So I'm gonna pop that on the board. And out of the way. Oh my goodness, I'm gonna give it a little turn around as well. Look at that. Now, just gonna go in with a knife. Straight through, and inside you can see that oozy, gooey cheese, and all the tuna and the peppers and all that. A little bit of jalapenos. I'm gonna pop one here like this. Oh my goodness me!